Marcus Mariota turned heads Thursday night against the Chargers, making us wonder, would he be a good fit for New England? I'm Mariah Jonas, joined by Evan Lazar. Evan, what are your thoughts on Marcus Mariota coming to New England? I kind of like it, to be honest with you. And mm-hmm. the main reasons why are la- last year, certainly in 2019, Mariota's play fell off the, the face of the earth. You know, he's one of the least accurate quarterbacks in the league. Completion percentage over expected ranked at 31st out of 35 qualified quarterbacks, right? So very inaccurate in 2019. When I saw him down there in training camp during joint practices against the Patriots, felt like he was seeing ghosts in the pocket against practice when he's wearing a red non-contact jersey, right? That's never a really great a great sign. Uh, his feet, his sort of just poise in the pocket, he just looked uncertain back there. Now, granted, last night I thought he looked a lot better, and I think that if you put him behind an offensive line like the Patriots have, where he feels protected and he feels safe back there, I think that that's a much different equation than maybe playing in a situation where he doesn't. And in 2015, through 2018, he was one of the more accurate quarterbacks in the league. On top of that, he is a former second overall pick in the draft. He's only 27 years old. He has that athletic mobile quarterback element to him. So you can still do a lot of the same things that you've done this year with Cam Newton in the running game. If you bring in a guy like Marcus Mariota, you can still do all those things. And we saw him run for what, almost a hundred yards last night against the Chargers on a lot of those read option type of plays that the Patriots like to run with Cam. So your running game stays the same. You maybe get a little bit more accurate and a little bit more I just would say consistent thrower of the football he definitely has a smoother mechanics and a smoother release than somebody like Cam Newton does so maybe in that respect I I definitely don't hate the idea of exploring this option and again I think the main thing that it comes back to is that he is still only 27 years old and for quarterbacks in 2020 that's the prime years of a quarterback's career from you know Mm -hmm. 27 to about 32 or 33 is usually when they find that sort of cerebral mental and physical thing marrying up together so maybe it did just take a change of scenery a different sort of offense a different sort of element for Marcus Mariota to find that why he was the second overall pick in 2015 so I don't hate the idea it's it's similar to me to what they did with cam where they took a former first overall pick and said this guy's got a ton of talent you know let's see what we can do with him i don't think it's a that much of a different conversation with a guy like marcus mariota yeah patriots press pass is presented by manscaped get 20 percent off and free shipping using the code press pass 20 at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com using the code press pass 20 take the leap and join the manscaped movement today now the thing with marcus mariota is he is under contract for another year he's not a free agent what would it take for the patriots to acquire him this is a big 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 uh, caveat in this entire discussion because i know the raiders really like marcus mariota and Derek carr has never really been john gruden's guy gruden was hired and carr was already the starting quarterback i know he wasn't crazy about Derek carr and wasn't a, a big time believer in Derek carr they like mariota in vegas and i think there's a chance that mariota might actually be the guy and we might be talking more about Derek carr being the option to come out of vegas rather than mariota but with that being said he's due about 10 million dollars of base salary next year which a very reasonable contract if he's going to start for you but I do think to get him out of uh, Vegas I keep on wanting to say Oakland to get him out of Vegas it's going to take a second round pick maybe a third round pick is kind of lowballing them a little bit I think and you're looking at a situation where you're going to have to give up some draft capital to get the guy based off of just maybe once one kind of game on Thursday night football or maybe he ends up starting a few games here down the stretch if Derek Carr's injury is serious but I think the Raiders are not exactly sold on Derek Carr as their guy and Mariota you know there's not a great kind of precedent for guys that have failed the first time around sort of coming back the second time around at the quarterback position but the one guy that you can look to is the guy who took Mariota's job in Tennessee and Ryan Tannehill as sort of the archetype of how this could work right sometimes a change of scenery and just a different style of offense really takes a guy that was you know not doing so well and overdrafted and kind of labeled a bust and turns them into somebody that oh that's why they were drafted you know second overall so I, I think that there is a conversation here with Mariota, but it's going to take a lot to get him out of Vegas. And I don't think the Raiders are necessarily going to be shopping him this offseason. So yeah, it will be interesting to see what happens. Um, and just going forward, we are going to be taking an in-depth look at what 
potential quarterbacks could come to New England. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. For all of our Patriots coverage, head to clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Patriots Press Pass. Ho, ho, ho.